Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to do the cam and follower uh, mate or constraint in uh, SOLIDWORKS and how to simulate a motion like this. So for that we need the cam part, we need the follower part here which I made like the valve of an engine and then you need some guide. And guide is not necessary really, but the cam and the follower are. Now the first thing you need to notice about the uh, the uh, cam is the surfaces of the cam, the outer surface, should be tangent to each other. If this face here and this face they are not tangent, or like these two faces are not tangent, you cannot use those faces as the faces of the cam. So the tangency is uh, the biggest constraint that you have for the surface of the cam. You cannot have a non-continuous uh, broken corners. So uh, here I go ahead and um, I'll do it from scratch so we can see. So we create a, a new assembly and then um, we bring the components one by one. So first I probably bring the guide as it's my first component and it's the fixed one. And then I will uh, bring in the other components including the uh, cam and the follower. So I bring them in like this one and this one. So uh, one thing I can do is a uh, guide is fixed. So first I make sure that the uh, follower shaft is coincident, uh, concentric with the hole in the guide. Okay, so this guy only goes up and down. That is very important. Then I need to uh, put the uh, cam in the proper position. So here, this is the uh, front plane. So I can basically have that as the symmetric plane of my assembly. So for that reason, what I can do is, uh, for a moment, I make the uh, guide to be float and I can look at the temporary axis. So I put that axis on the front plane of the assembly, like this. So now, compared to the um, front plane, uh, the cam and the, the follower and the support are, or the guide are symmetric. Now I can put the guide back as fixed. And now what I need is to also uh, put this uh, cam middle plane on the front plane of the assembly. So if I go to this cam, and here is the middle plane of that, and I force that one to also be coincident with the front plane of the assembly. So now everything is in good shape then uh, I need to fix the cam at a fixed location so it can basically move. So for that, what I can do, I go to the front plane of the assembly and I create a sketch, which is where I want the center of the cam to be. And for that here, I uh, basically draw something like maybe here and I can draw it right below this axis okay so uh, I can later make them coincident so I do a sketch like that and the dimension of this is not that important but here I want to make it the same size as the hole so I make it 0.4 inches and um, what I can do is, as I said, I can shift everything to a fixed position. For example, maybe I can move this right to origin, like that, and then I can move the um, guide and the follower up as well. So what I will do here is, I make these two concentric, so the cam goes and spins in place, like that. So now the cam should be good, should do what it is supposed to do. And the next thing I want to do is to move the follower and the uh, guide. So for that reason, again, I can make the follower um, move. And one thing I want is the axis of that is 
uh, coincident with this um, point here. So uh, what I can do is I can choose that one and then I can choose that point here at the center of the circle and uh, force these two to be coincident as well, like that. Okay, this way it's right above it. And uh, I need to move them up. So here, another thing you can see is they are concentric with each other, but uh, they can freely spin, and that's not what I want. So another thing I can do is to force this face and the top face of the assembly to be parallel. This way, they can stay in place, and they do not going. They are not going to spin. So now, if I move them, you see they just go up and down. So I move this one up too like this and maybe put it right there okay and I can move this guy as well here and now uh, I fix the guide again now I bring this guy down you see right now they uh, their motions are independent from each other All right this guy can go up and down and this one can spin without any relation so now is the time to apply the uh, cam follower constraint. So you go there, and then to constraint, go to mechanical, and then do cam. And here you choose one of the surfaces of the extrusion of the uh, cam, and then all other surfaces that are tangent to it automatically will be selected. Then you choose this first surface, or you can choose a single point on it if you want. Here I have a flat surface, so I choose the whole surface as following that cam and you okay that and um, now if I start moving this look here we go so if I go to the front plane and I spin this you see that the cam and the follower they go together and they keep the uh, contact okay so this is how we can do it and if you want you can go to motion analysis and you can put let's say a motor at the cam and give it some rpm maybe 60 rpm 30 rpm something constant speed and have it rotate and then you need to go here and instead of animation say calculate basic motion and calculate this and then it starts the simulation and now we can run it here we go. Okay, so you can do a motion analysis on the cam. So hopefully it was useful to you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.